This week, let's welcome in one of the most entertaining superstars now on SmackDown, Dolph Ziggler. And Dolph, I got to apologize first, first things. I stuck you last time with Max. This time, you got the A-lister, kid. A-lister. I really appreciate it. Going above and beyond now that I'm the number one contender. No big deal. I appreciate it, man. See, see you know that, who your friends are. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. Now, before we get to SummerSlam, I want to go back. The last time you were here was right before WrestleMania. You were part of that epic ladder match. How does a match like that help propel you into the new year after Mania? Wow, uh, matches like that, everyone always says it. You're never the same when you come out of there going in, going out. Anyone can win, and your body is going to go through a ladder or two. And no one's the same. No one ever comes out the same. And it's, it's so excruciating. I think my back still hurts a little bit from that match. But you go on, and you move on. And that's what makes superstars so resilient, so great, is we continue our schedule, man. 300 live events a year, and I'm at almost every single one of them. It was the first time I've ever watched in person as a fan. And to start the show like that was amazing. But now you have to fast forward to SummerSlam. You mentioned it. You're the number one contender. You face Dean Ambrose. How do you approach a match with a guy who has so much momentum? Uh, and that, that's what's special about the WWE Universe. Whether it's supposed to be your time or it's not supposed to be your time, this special SmackDown Live, the very first one, I took full advantage and I super kicked AJ Styles and took my spot. I think this is a new era, not just for new talent. It's for new people to come and make a name for themselves. As someone myself, I've been around seven years doing the same thing. And I go, I was waiting for the right moment, and I found it, and I cannot wait to tear the house down with Dean Ambrose. And I'm telling you right now, I didn't come this far to lose. I can see the hunger, and I like the hunger. Now, I got to ask you, last night, Brock I do look a little skinny on camera, probably. No it, carbs. It's but, okay. Yeah, it it's good. okay. Uh, last night, Brock Lesnar returns to Raw. A couple of weeks ago, we had John Cena here, and he said with everything that Brock has been through with the UFC this summer, that this will take a long time for him to get over. How do you feel about it as a fellow superstar? Wow. Uh, as someone, I, I remember my, uh, my freshman year of college at the national tournament walking on uh, onto the mat as Brock Lesnar was walking off, and I went, whoa, that dude's pretty big, and that was a long time ago. It's... Uh, he is a special, unique athlete that uh, so many people, like, we, I, I don't know if he's human sometimes. And it's, uh, but someone like myself has been wrestling since I was five years old, and I see that look in his eye that he's ready to go at any time. I appreciate that, and I'll be honest, I, uh, I'm afraid of Brock, but sure as hell went back down. 